As I said before, I'm super excited about today's show because we have one of my favorite people, one of my favorite artists in the studio, Miss Chelsea Denise. Hey. What's going on? How you feeling? I feel good. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You know, I feel like the last time we talked was probably like a year ago around the same time. Yeah. And we actually did an interview, but it didn't come out for just, you know, reasons beyond out of my control. Okay. <laughs> but no. we're here again. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. I'm excited to be here. Same. I'm so excited to have you. So Chelsea is from Canarsie, Brooklyn. Yeah. And she definitely encompasses the definition of soul with her powerful vocals and strong elements of rhythm <laughs> and blues. So, yeah. What's going on? Uh... A lot. Uh, <laughs> life. <laughs> okay, how are you feeling about life at the moment? Um, I'm excited about life. Um, I'm working on a project right now Okay. Uh, that is amazing um, since we last spoke. You know, I was working on some music, some mm -hmm. new music, but um, I think I definitely needed some time uh, to really fully develop um the sound that i like i know my sound but to develop um the the message that i really wanted to pour into this project right uh and so yeah i've been in studio writing hey. i can finally say that this is this is it this is this is um something i'm really excited about um timing is everything you know yeah, like yeah. i was first introduced to your music in 2017 yeah. someone from your team had reached out to me and they were like yo um we see that you're a dj we had this artist like check her out and let us know what you think uh -huh. and normally i get sent music all the time yeah. and a lot of times it's not the best <laughs> and a lot of times it just comes with like a link there's no introduction or anything yeah. but when i clicked on the song um it was your song we good yeah, yeah. and it was the first version of the it ver oh, the yeah, very the first version <laughs> So when I first clicked on it, I heard this, um, the Juicy sample yeah. from Biggie. Yeah. And then I heard your voice. And then I got into like the arrangement. I was like, hold on. <laughs> this is like a dope ass track. And yeah. ever since then, I've just been following your journey. And I've been like a super like just huge fan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's travel back in time to when you were about, I'm going to say 15 years old. Okay. Oh, yeah. 15. So you grew up in a Haitian household. Yeah. Your yeah. father is also a musician. Yeah, um, so I grew up in a Haitian household. Uh, my mother uh, actually was a single parent for a very long time. Um, and she she's Haitian. She's Haitian-Syrian. Um, and she was a nurse. Okay. Uh, but I automatically, for some reason, was like pulled into music. Actually, I... I, I Thank Barney. I know it's so cheesy. But I used Barney to watch Barney. Lit. Yo, Barney was lit. <laughs> Let me tell you, that dude right there, he was really lit. But um, yeah, so I grew up there um, with my mom, Canarsie. And, you know, I definitely did have influences around me. But I was introduced, which is, this sounds crazy, but um, I was introduced to my, like, the idea of my father, the, the information of my father being an artist when I was about six, seven. Okay. Uh, and I mean, as a kid, you're just like, oh, okay, my dad's an artist, but I don't know him. So like, what does that really that mean? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> right? But I also like, you know, I knew my dad, of course. Um, but I ended up, you know, rekindling my relationship with my father as a a, a kid, more so preteen era. Okay. And there, from there, like he introduced me to everything, like Haitian music, like oh my god, like my mom already played a lot of the those tunes mm -hmm. when I was there, but then my father took me to a further like place, like um, I you know I was introduced to Haitian folkloric, okay, um, just everything, and my dad is actually um a part of this really famous Haitian band called Phantom. Shout out to Pops and Phantom. Okay, yeah, he's a he's a cool dude. He's a real cool dude. Um, but for me, like I, I personally, I don't know what it was, but I just found my own sound without the knowledge of my father being an artist, and um, I knew that that was something I wanted to do. I actually studied jazz around that age, okay, around fifteen years old. And then you perform at the, the Cotton, Cotton Club, Club, which yeah. is legendary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, shout out to Mr. VD. That's right. he's a cool dude. I walked into there, and I used to work at a uh, Fairway on okay. 125th. The grocery store. <laughs> yeah, I was look, man. I was hustling in high school. Got to. But I used to pass the Cotton Club all the time, and I was just frustrated one day because I'm like, damn, I don't want to be packing groceries. I want to be a superstar. I'm a superstar. You're like, for the birds. Right? I'm like, <laughs> man. So uh, I walked into when I was heading to work, and I just walked into the Cotton Club before going to work, and I just like went in there, flew in the door. I was like, 
hello, sir, Mr. Beatty at the time. Um, I was like, I want to perform. I'm going to perform here. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, he was like, are you good? I was like, I'm better than good. Okay, you better believe in yourself. <laughs> For sure. That's what's up. But um, from that moment on, he invited me to... Um, uh, um, uh, what is it again? What are they? Uh, jam session. Okay. Their open mic. It wasn't really open mic, but he asked me to come and jam with them the following week, and I was nervous. But you did your thing. I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah! But and see, that's that- the beauty, like within, and that's what I love about you because I talk about this all the time. It's really about creating your own opportunities yeah. and not waiting for an opportunity to fall in your lap. Yeah. It's like you had this idea, you wanted to perform, you rolled up, and you was like, "Look, I'm good. I'm yeah. going to perform." And you did it. Yeah, you yeah, know? for sure. And from there on, he uh, invested uh, Mr. Beatty and there was a saxophone player named um, Tim, who invested so much time into me, uh, taught me everything music theory, then introduced me to my vocal coach at the time, Melba Joyce, who just changed my life wow. and. Uh, She's the reason why, she's one of the reasons why I really take music serious. And I also understand the the the, the craftsmanship that it takes to be an artist and what right. that title really means. And so, yeah, that, that just molded my life I love a lot. It. So there. speaking of like, that you know, up. <laughs> but um, I saw this tweet and it said that R&B is dead. Hell no. And it made me think, right, because... This conversation about R&B has been going on for a while. And mm-hmm. I think that the R&B that people are so used to, like, you know, the Joe to see boys to yeah. men, um, the Mary J. Blige's of the days, yeah. like, they're still around. Well, some of them are. But, like, the sound is different. Yeah. You have people like Ari Lennox. You have people like SZA, Tiana Taylor, yourself, who yeah. are changing the way that we look at R&B. So, like, what is your take on the current state of R&B? Well, uh, you know what? I hate when people say things like that. Right. Like, even with that whole hip-hop is dead thing, like, music evolves. It does. And, you know, if you go back in time, like, I mean, there was an era, like, there's still an era for jazz um, and blues, but then we end up getting R&B. Like, every music evolves, Mm -hmm. and there are great artists. Um, I mean, like you said, you listed a, bunch of phenomenal female artists um of our time right now i don't think r&b said and i i don't me either <laughs> first of all music can't die hello music actually cannot die like that is so impossible um we have so many timeless songs um we also have some really dope r&b artists as well too i mean we got jacques <laughs> who's hel- i love jacques the king of r&b I- <laughs> I mean, <you> know. <laughs> <laughs> but i do like jacques um we have we still have Trey songs. We have, there's this artist that I like, The Set. Uh, he's okay. from Atlanta. He's I saw really you good. post about him the other day. I yeah. gotta check him out. He's really good. He's okay. really good. But I mean, like, there are so many, like, th- music evolves. And, you know, um, I just feel like, especially like, I, I hear that a lot from the old heads. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, how do you expect? I think us- because they expect. It to sound the like, same, like there. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. And it's like you know, people like like you said, music is going to be always evolve, and we are going to be inspired by those artists. But like that's the beauty of music and growth; it's going to change. Exactly. And know? instead of you know shaming um, the sounds that we have now, how about we uh, have a lot of a lot more people um, uh, mentor? Yeah. Oof. Like new we, artists. Yeah. yeah. Like I think that that's so important. I mean, like there's so many of the greats that I would love to be mentored by. Um, but I just get so upset when I do hear people uh, say that r and dead or hip hop's dead. Like music can't die and can't. music evolves. It's only so, going to get better and it's going to change with time, like you said. And to each its own. I mean, exactly. if you don't like that artist, that's cool. Someone else likes it and that artist relates with someone else. Period. So, yeah. Period. period. For okay. real. Period. period. <laughs> so speaking of like, you know, artists, whether it be old or new, is there one song or one album that kind of like reflects where you are currently in your life besides your own music? Oh, that's hard. Because I listen to my music a lot. As, as you should. Um, <laughs> but right now, I would definitely say I will forever love Solange's Oof. A Seat at the Table. That, Oof. man, when I'm down, when I'm sad, like that is... Classic. Oh, God. Classic. So right now, I would say it's A Seat at the Table. Um, uh, yeah, like I listen to her a lot. I love Same. her. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Actually, I, I know. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Summer Walker. Yo. Oh, I, God. First of all, let me tell you something. So when Summer Walker first came out, uh-huh. I heard the music before I saw her as like what she looked like, uh-huh. you know? And like, you know, a lot of times we hear music and we're like, okay, in our head, we paint a paint picture, picture of what yeah. the artist looks like. Mm-hmm. But she's totally different. And I love that. Love. And she's so kind of like anti the industry. She's, she's like, I'm going to do me. Exactly. Yeah, she's raw. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And I think that that's the beauty of these 
newer artists yeah. because it's like you all are marching to the beat of your own drum. Yeah. You don't, you know, you may be inspired by someone else's blueprint, but you're really creating your own blueprint. Absolutely. And what that looks like, feels like, and sounds like. Absolutely. You know? I like, I'm so in love with Summer Walker. Like, she doesn't know me yet, but like. She will. Uh, she will. And I will tell her, like, she is so beautiful and so dope and so raw. And like, I was actually listening to Session 32 mm -hmm. on my way here and just listening to that, like, how like a woman can pour out their vulnerability and just really tell a man like you don't know what love is because like here I am fighting like she just touches on everything yeah. that I stand for and I think that she is also like she has this one song uh, it's with her best friends it's a rap I don't think it, uh, was it on YouTube? I need some money. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even that, I'm exactly just like about, yeah. twenty. Uh, <laughs> I need some money. Like, yeah. So that that is my that I listen to when I'm just like I don't care. Like every girl can be whatever she wants to be, and she embodies that. So Amen. she's so fire. Yeah. So shout out to Summer Walker. We mm -hmm. gotta get that Summer Walker and Chelsea Denise collab one day I going on. I'm speaking that. that into existence. I'm speaking you know? into existence. <laughs> I want to know, you know, and I'm pretty sure everyone else out there wants to know as well. What is Chelsea Denise working on now? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on my first EP. Um, we recently settled on a name, but I can't say it yet. Yep, she can't say it. It's a secret. It's a secret, <laughs> but I'm so excited about it. Ugh, I'm working on that, and I'm also working on a project with um, J-Rob okay. from I love the, Selection. Yo, I love J-Rob. Hold on, shout out <laughs> to the whole Selection fam, because like, they show dope. love. Yeah. Um, yeah, J Rob and I are working on something. We actually have some tracks, uh, and one of our tracks, uh, I played it on my, I have a snippet on it on Instagram and it has like this really dope sample, but J Rob is so freaking talented. So talented. But on my, my project, um, that I'll be releasing, um, it ha it's featuring this amazing producer, um, named Omar Grand, okay. who has just created, like this guy is I don't think y'all understand. Omar Grant is the truth. And I cannot wait for our project to come out. Um, because he just like, he, uh, it's hard finding. It's not, I mean, it is hard. It's hard finding someone that you truly have chemistry with. Yes. Musically. Um, but Omar Grant helped out with the project. Matt Cody, the set, helped out okay. with the project too. He's so talented. Um yeah, we we're just working out here. I love it. I'm, I'm grinding. excited. It's grinding. grind mode. Yo, and like for I, real. I'm always asking, like, yo, like, I'm always putting your song on repeat. Like, when you come in with some more heat, and like, <laughs> I'm so excited to hear that you're, you know, back in the studio and you're almost yeah, done. Please, you know. Please, so please. before we leave and wrap up this interview, I want you to let the people know where they can find you on social media. All right, perfect. You yeah. guys can find me at Chelsea Denise uh, on, on Instagram, C-H-E-L-S-I-E-D-E-N-I-S-E. -E -E -E. And on Twitter, which I don't use, but hey, y'all can give me some Twitter followers. <laughs> I, I just, I'm not really a Twitter head, but please. <laughs> uh, it's Yo Chelsea Denise. Hey. Um, I think that's fine. And on Facebook too, Chelsea Denise, um, everywhere. Yo. I wanted to say thank you once again for joining me on Studio 225. Like, I love your presence. I love your artistry. I love your voice. And I wish you the best. Thank you. And shout out to everyone that's out there listening or viewing. Like I said before, make sure you all stay tuned and just like keep up with Chelsea Denise because she's going places, people. Yes.